Can I just shoot his ass? No, no. Well, I mean, I guess you, you can. I'm trying to melee him. God fucking damn! What's going on? Holy shit! Tanner! I didn't shoot, I didn't shoot, I didn't shoot. <laughs> you fucker. I was on fire. I was gonna stop with my fire. What the fuck just happened, man? Know. See ya! Get him the hell out of here. Get him the hell out of here. You piece of shit. You piece of shit! Get him out of my face! Holy shit! What is going on? Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> oh my god. Still alive? Not one. The one to the left. Get him out of here, man! Come on, Let's go, go, baby! This respect! Easy. No! Fuck! He's one HP! Oh, man. Oh, this is the life right here. Full time hot tub streamer, actually. Next challenge is win a battle royale game from inside the hot tub. Listen, no battle royales for you in any other game. Shit on, shit on, shit on, get out of my face. Somebody, 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 get out of here. What is up, Pack? Yo, how we all doing today, baby? Yo, who's out there? Who's ready to rock? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Happy Friday, baby. Yo, Red Eye Buckeye, shout out to you, man. Appreciate you coming through with that membership, baby. We got Threshweed as well. We got Adam Eric up in here. We got my man, Nix Max Hex. Yo, what up, Nix? Hungry, hungry hippo. What's up, baby? Have a great Friday, Adam. What's up, man? Hey, you too, baby. Insane Famas. What up, brother? What up, what up, baby? Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate y'all stopping in for a Friday evening stream. Yo, Vis, always happy to see you. Big shoots, Drew Lambo. What's up, brother? Hope you're doing well, my man. It's good to see you, bro. Good to see you, brother. Rainy day, split pea and ham, simmer on the stove. This going live, nice chill day, I think. Yo, Emerald, what's up, brother? Hope you're doing well. It's great to see you, baby. Great to see you, baby. Let us get it. Let us get it, ladies and gentlemen.
boom. A little one of these. A little one of those. I find it very odd that sometimes you spawn in and you already have gear. Like how I already had this handgun. Red Eye, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. What up, Threshweed? Good to see you too, baby. Pack any plans for the weekend? I swear to God, the sound like keeps going up. Lift, eat, grow, huh? Looking to make those gains. You got a certain goal right now you're trying to get to, Nix? Certain weight, size, etc. Down 35 pounds since starting TRT, though. Hey, that's awesome to hear, man. That's really awesome to hear. Want to get to 15% and see some abs? Are you tracking with your diet somehow? Are you following a, something? Flick shot. Almost to that white badge, baby. Yes, sir. You're right, baby. Flick shot. Great to see you, man. Hey, appreciate the prime, bro. Huge support right there, baby. Well, brother, I gotta sell you. I don't know if that's the best plan when it comes to that. It's been a long week. Happy to hang out with the pack this Friday. Tomorrow's a rest day. Sunday, I'm going for a long hike. A long hike. What's a long hike? A few miles. What's up, Matt? Nix, I can say I know for certain if you're wanting to continue losing weight, 
and you use something like carbon, it's going to help you to do that. It's this app. Right there. We're now partnered with them. You get a discount on top of that. But it's something I've recommended to people for years and years way before we were ever partnered with them. And it's been something that I've been using for years since like late 2018, early 2019. And it's helped me tremendously. So if that's something you're looking to do. I know that'll help you. What's up, Elizabeth? You're gonna double what you did the other day, so hopefully 10, 11 miles. That's awesome, dude. That's a damn good hike right there. Got a had a four uh, four mile run this morning, and then got a 13, 13 and a half, or no, 13. I think it's 13.3. Mile run this Sunday, which is half a marathon. Snow Trouble, what's up, baby? Great to see you. Great to see you, baby. You managed 5.18 miles an hour, 30 minutes. I think I just walk the same route again. That's awesome, dude. Can't aim for shit and you're just going ham? Well, it's all about practice, baby. Lots and lots of practice over the years. Lots and lots. Almost like this guy in a hat was a pro once. Almost like I may have been the best player in this game at one point. <laughs> Leaderboard wise, that's for damn sure. OGHD, what's up, baby? You said I was five when I first played in FPS? Nah, dude. I didn't start playing FPS games until junior high. I mean, I guess every once in a while I'd go into my cousin's house, we'd play Goldeneye, but I didn't play competitive FPSs until Xbox 360 came out. First was Halo and COD 4.
Snow, it's always great to have you here, brother. Whenever you, to, whenever you choose to tune in. Snow trouble, yeah, it's something you gotta build up to. The cool thing is though, like, we're this is my fourth week into now like marathon prep. And I was obviously doing 75 hard before this, and I did some running with that. But the more I do, it's just you're it's insane like how fast you start making improvements. Like I'm so much I feel so much faster and lighter, and your body just gets so much more efficient at running. Not even in just like your cardio, but like your actual movement. And whatnot. You just kind of like your body just gets in a zone. It's we it's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool, actually. You're like I'm hauling at like ass compared to when I first started doing this. And it feels like I'm using less effort than the first when I first first started running it. Uh flick I can't say I have. What are those supposed to, to do? What are they meant for? Flick shot, do you live at elevation? Your sea level? Are you like barely over? Mine usually get to the point where they're like barely over, but then they stabilize and they don't keep going up. Yeah, yours are even like slightly, slightly over what mine are. You ever done an iron test too to see where your iron levels are at if they're like elevated? Because I think you really only need to be worried if it's that those plus your iron levels. Ask your doctor about that. Waxy, what's up, brother? Actually, that's sick, dude. Yeah, in Utah, we're like generally at like 4,000 to 5,000 feet.
Yo, Rudy, that's sick too, dude. Yeah, whatever it is for you, you know. Said he can't run for crap anymore, so took up cycling, doing 50 milers twice a week, working on tackling the Century Ride 100 miler. Hey, that's awesome, man. That's awesome, baby. I've just found that, like, doing, doing some regular cardio, you just feel so much fucking better, bro. You got so much more energy. It's insane. It's actually insane. This, I started carbon a few days ago. What do you think is best, low carb or low diet? Or does balance out the total? What do you mean by low carb or low uh, diet? I think you meant something other than diet. What do you mean? Low carb or low fat. Um, biggest overall thing to decide on for that would be preference. That's the biggest overall thing. However you prefer to eat would be the number one factor I would first think about. Um, when it comes to that, you, can even, you don't have to even just do low one or the other. You could do like moderate of both. It depends on your diet and what you want to do. Now... When it comes to like weightlifting, short, uh, shorter, I mean, even uh, like sprints, athletic performance where you need more like explosiveness, uh, high carb is going to be better for those. Muscle glycogen is like a faster energy source that's going to help you perform better. Also, it's more protein sparing which usually if you keep your carbs higher along with your protein, it's more likely that you can build more muscle and maintain more muscle. Uh, when it comes to like super long distance stuff, sometimes like high fat diets for some people can perform as well or even sometimes maybe better. But uh, I mean, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of sacrifice that goes into that because I mean, eating that type of diet all the time you, that's something you've got to prefer. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to just stick to that forever. Is what I've come to find. Overall, it should be a preference thing. You're going to get... The results... Will end up being... Damn near the same when it comes to your... Your body comp. As long as you're hitting your calories and your protein... I can say this is me right now, and this is like what I prefer. I eat like higher carb. I'm eating like 400 grams of carbs a day right now. Uh, my fat's a little, my fat's lower. I'm eating like 400 grams of carbs a day, and I'm eating like 210 grams of protein a day. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I feel the best doing that. I perform the best doing that. Um, it helps me both with still doing weights and also with the running. You know, like if I know the next day I got a big run, I make sure I have more carbohydrates that day. And so that my body's fucking topped off on glycogen stores for the run, you know. So it's something you can mess around with. Overall, it's not like it's mainly the biggest thing you should worry about is preference. How do you want to eat? What's going to be something you can adhere to for the long term? What's going to be the thing you're most able to enjoy? That's what you I would recommend that you think about. J sign's pretty good, it doesn't have much recoil.
That's without controlling it. Flick shot? You funny, brother. Pod P, what's up, baby? A, appreciate the prime, the 34 months. According to my bike computer, I'm averaging about 1,800, 2,200 calorie rides wearing heart rate monitor and stuff. Yeah, I, I wouldn't trust those too much. Like, it's a good, the be, those, thi those things, the best thing about those things is to understand, like, if you did more or less, but they're usually not accurate. Those can be off a ton. But it's a good idea of, like, the total work you did. You know, the total calories, meaning not, not that that number is accurate, but if the number is higher consistently on certain workouts, you're very likely burning more calories, but you shouldn't take that as a face value. Those things are usually really off. What's up, Angel? Ed, what's up, dude? So, my new sub coming from Halifax and Hollywood Bob. Just wanted to say hello. Looking forward to watching the new content coming for your channel, man. Keep it up, bro. Hey, you the man, dude. Shrop, yeah, I've been using a Garmin to track my runs. Yeah, it is a 14700K and a 4070Ti. I don't use the sleep tracking. I think that that's the same thing. I don't really pay attention to that shit. Pay attention to like how I feel and like how my actual sleep was. Uh, you should be able, you know, I... If you pay enough attention to it long enough and you start figuring out yourself and how you sleep, you're like, did I wake up in the middle of the night? How many times did I wake up? Did I fall back asleep? How well did I fall back? Like, feel when I fell back asleep? How do I feel when I wake up? Like, you can figure out, like, how, you, how your sleep was based off of that and how you feel. And also, like, just thinking about your total training volume. If you're doing tons of training volume and then you're starting to wake up consistently, you're like, I just feel like shit. My sleep's just getting disrupted more and more. Then you're starting to get to the point where you're getting, like, overreached, you know? Trash, what's up, man? What's good, baby? I feel a milestone will be hit this stream. What's the milestone? I feel you're already up over a milestone, brother. Over five years of us, baby. happened so much on this fucking map. <laughs> this guy. Look at this man, Chad. Get get a whole lot of love in there for Trash Daddy, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, shower this guy with love, man. He just came through with 50 gifted subs. You're insane, dude. You're absolutely insane, bro. Oh 
I'm gonna have to kill the wolf, dude. It's gonna go forever. It'll go forever. Trash, you the man, brother. Yo, every single person. If you just got a sub, if you didn't get a sub, show this man some love, dude. That's huge. This giant. Flick the beans, 27 months, prime timed up. Bruno, what's up, man? Appreciate the tier two and the 70 months as well. Trash, you man, brother. Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate everything. Everything you've shown and done for our community. My man is over 30. He's over 3,000 gifted now, man. 3,000 gifted. The bots on a smoke break. I don't know about that. Drive this car until we see if uh, we should cross or not. Fortunate to have you in our community, Trash. You're the fucking man, dude. Thank you so much for everything over the years, dude. Leo Slice, what's up, baby? It's good to see you, brother. It's going to come back this way, so, well, you know what? We chill. We chill! That bell squad got you walking funny today? Yeah, legs are feeling it. Your eyes have been reopened to the gains, huh? That's good to hear, brother. So of mine, man. I'll have all this running and whatnot. Getting real lean, making those lean gains. It's cool to see. You guys got another game this weekend, Leo Slice?
Carter's a work in progress. Did two miles without stopping, 1030 pace for the first time in a while. That's still pretty solid, brother. It's pretty solid, man. I see him at this close tree. No, further. Hendrix, prime timed up. That's five years, brother. New badge milestone, 60 months with a vis in the pack. Yo, brother, appreciate you. Thank you very much for that, man. Five damn years. Damn, he just got... Just got domed, baby. Insane Sicilia, my man, with five dollars and one cent. It's like your calling card now, brother. It's like your calling card with the one cent now, man. He says, "Happy Friday, Pack." What's everyone's excited for this weekend? I like that, dude. What is everybody excited for this weekend? I'll go first. I'm excited for the thirteen point one mile run, half a marathon, on Sunday. Three games and a practice in the next 10 days. The boys will be tested. I love it. Spicer, what's up, baby? What's up, baby? You're excited for Liverpool versus Man United. That's a huge one, right? That's like big rivalry between those two teams. Take your son to an NHL game tomorrow. Should be a good time to do that. It's going to be a great time, bro. Saw a clip the other night of the, that NHL game start, and immediately within two seconds, they throw their gloves down, and all five of them start, fight, start fighting <laughs> on the ice. What's up, Utesman? The AWM. Man, this SLR been treating me good, man. I don't know. Say someone doesn't have the money to donate to the channel. What's the best way to contribute? Being here, watch, spend your time here. It's a great way. Uh, thumbs up in the, the videos on YouTube and the live streams on YouTube. Um, following on social media. Like and sharing posts. Letting other people know about the channel. Enjoying your time here with us? These are all ways. Q 
Keebs, yeah, I heard about that, man. Heard New York got a little, got a, got an earthquake over there, man. Watching the final four. That's not done with, huh? March Madness goes into April, huh? My man Flick Shot, dude, on both of them. He's nine months on YouTube as well. Still auto sub here, but forget to post. Oh, look, we have a baby now. It's that YouTube baby. Flick you the man, brother. Thank you so much, man. Going the extra mile. Monk, what's up, dude? Make sure we're not going to get pushed from this hillside. Actually, only two left, bro. Well, I hear the one guy sniping, and I'm pretty sure I had seen the other one here. Good night. Good night! Car 98. I see him. You gotta put the fear in him. The fear of the arm in him. The fear of the arm. Um... What do you dare? What do you dare? What do you dare? Don't you dare do that! Don't you dare do that! Are you crazy? Head peeking in AWA. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? He's crazy, ladies and gentlemen. He's absolutely crazy, man. Shouldn't have done that, baby. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. That was a bad idea right there. Whew. GG. What's up, Stealthy Storm? What's up, Rudy Squiggles? What's up, man? Shake and bake. How we doing, baby? Tankinology. What's up, Thresh? What's up, baby? Yeah, 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 yeah. GG's all around, huh? You peek six feet deep. You sink. Or you seek, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Vin Kadesh. What's up, man? Frank, what's up, baby? Rudy, what up, man? Dion, what up, brother? Vankarish, what's up, baby? 
Yeah, um, we played like, I don't know, a few Fridays ago. We did some disrespect on PUBG. You just missed the dub. Yeah, brother, you did just miss it. You did just miss it, baby. Pack anything else you guys are excited for this weekend, man? What else is going on? This weekend, I'm not sure, but next weekend, we got UFC 300. You're damn right we do. You're damn right we do. Jaybird? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got the, uh, you making that Wolfpack rug this weekend, huh? You're also looking forward to the Final Four Red Eye? Who's the four teams, chat? Who are the four teams that made it to the Final Four? supposed to actually it's funny you say that your says my man said weather's looking beautiful so looking forward to being outside we had a few good days but now this weekend it's supposed to snow on sunday and that is the day for the 13 uh 13.1 miles of the half marathon it's supposed to fucking snow it's gonna be april mother in seventh the hell's going on? You it's minch. <laughs> Brother, you don't miss that. You talking about you don't miss that. Hey, there's a lot of I mean, there's a lot of good things about this place. But you don't miss that cold, I guarantee you that. It's probably nice and warm in Florida right now. I remember I used to consistently watch you and just motivated me uh, motivated me to go to the gym. I had lost like 25 pounds in two months. Hey, dude. Hey, we'll get back on it, brother. Get back on it, man. It's all about whenever you get knocked off the horse, you get back on the sucker, brother. For anyone out there, you're trying to get in better shape. You're wanting to get in better shape. I know carbon can help you. It doesn't matter if you're trying to lose weight or gain weight. I know for a fact it will help you get to your goal. It's helped me tremendously. It's helped tons of my friends. It's helped tons of the members of the pack over the years. I know it'll help you. And on top of that, we're partnered with them now, and you can get a discount through us. And it's another great way to help support the channel. Not only do you get us help support the channel, but you get to get in amazing shape while you do it. I think it's one of the best freaking possible partners we've ever had. And so I can just tell you, you're out there trying to lose some weight or gain some weight. I know for a fact you tell Carbon, hey, this is my goal weight. This is where I want to get. It's going to help get you there, bro. It will make a plan. It'll get you there. Ha! Emerald, better be careful of that, bro. Better be careful of that.
Hell, white girl. Yeah, this, uh, the loot's insane now. Actually. It's actually insane now. <clears throat> it's UConn, Purdue, NC State, and Alabama. Dude, well, NC State's always in the damn Final Four, bro. NC State and Duke every freaking year, it seemed like, forever. What's up, Luke? I hope you're doing well. You're asking how tall I am? Six foot. What's up, Drew? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. I should loot this real quick. I'd like to get one more first aid at least. As long as this map is full of crazed fans, PUBG will never die. This is true. This is true. I can't dispute that. Oh, you're thinking of UNC. So not, not the typ typical North Carolina that you think. The Tar Heels, right? Not the Tar Heels. What up, SmackDown, Tay? Since you're into real life fighting sport entertainment, what are you planning to watch wrestle? Were you planning to watch WrestleMania? <laughs> nah, I've never really been into WWE or WrestleMania any of that, man. One of the first jobs I worked, I had a manager. He was, like, really into it. Really into it. He, like, knew all of them. He knew everything. We talk about it all the time. I was never really all that into it.
Ed, it can be through Twitch, and it can also be through, uh, through YouTube. Okay, let's see. It's gonna keep going forever. I'm not the best person to ask for optimal graphics. I just play it. I'm playing on like mainly high and ultra. I didn't try to optimize the graphics. I don't think it should keep you on that much longer. I don't know. I don't think it just paused. We'll see. Saturday luggage. Two different types of people. Three different types of people. Uh, those that want to get every tiny little advantage they possibly can out of their graphics and get the absolute most FPS. Those that want the game to look the best as possible. And the third, those that just don't really give a shit. And I've pretty much always been in that third category. I've just, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> Only time where I wasn't that way was when I played pro, and that was because, hey, man, this is... I gotta, we gotta play, every, we gotta play every way, we gotta do everything to win. Right? When I played professional. But ever since then, didn't, just don't, don't really give a shit. Game looks good. Eh, let's go. Only reason I'd ever change it is if it, some setting was causing a dramatic drop. Like a, it was messed up. You know, dramatic drop in FPS. We're talking like, do you lose 60 FPS? 100 FPS because of this setting or something like If it's like, you can still play on it, I don't really give a shit. When I first ever started playing and streaming, I streamed on one PC. I played Arma 3, which was majorly intensive. You had a stream from your CPU. I would get like 30 to 20 FPS playing Arma 3 and became one of the absolute best players in that game. You don't need tons of FPS. Sure, it helps, but I don't. it's not really something where at the end of the day, it's gonna make some dramatic difference. Range day with the boys tomorrow. Just locked it in. Looking forward to it. 57, Sunny Can't ask for a better day to do it. Hey, that's freaking awesome, man. When you say a range day, I'm assuming, I'm assuming some, some firearms, right, brother? What are we talking? Some rifles? Some handguns? Or maybe you mean the driving range and you're going to be smacking some balls, dude. Flick shot? Well, that's good, brother. Flick, do you do any really intensive exercise? Like some really hard training sessions in the gym or cardio? Either one of those? Ed, exactly, bro. Just because I know you said that sometimes you have insomnia, and I've had different points where I've had struggles sleeping. But what I've come to realize through doing like regular cardio, hold up, 
I like sleep like a fucking rock most nights. I think sometimes part of the reason people have sleep issues now is because we don't spend enough energy in the day. And I mean, it's different because there's days where you'd like put a lot of like hard work in and even go to the gym and then I sleep, don't sleep. But if there's days, if multiple times a week, I'm doing like hard runs. My sleep has been insane, dude. Or maybe, maybe I might wake up at one point during the night, but then I'll fall back asleep and I'm just out or I'll just sleep throughout the entire night where that usually wasn't isn't happening as often before. I think sometimes this is just, this is not backed up. There probably is evidence that would back this up, but this is my, my experience is that you will sleep better if you're really exhausting yourself. My man, Slim Jim, what's up, man? Prime time, out of your damn mind, baby. What's up, brother? I had some of your friends come in, man. And uh, talk about those hats, dude. Hope you're having a good one. I am, brother. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well, too, man. He moved just in time. I'm about to rip his head off. Should have kept moving. Should have kept moving. Bodied. Tumble. Good night. Good night. Good night. Who's next? Who's next? You're next. Where you at? Where you at, baby? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I see you. I see you. Oh, I scared. I scared. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're not afraid. Peek. Peek. Stop peeking. He stopped peeking. Primogen, what's up, baby? Hope you're doing well, brother. Nandino. What up, Nandino? Hey, appreciate the prime, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tell him to get his face out here, bro. Tell him pop his ugly face out that door right over there. We need to give him a facelift real quick. 762 facelift. <laughs> there you go, flush shot. There you go, bro. The heck's going on back here, man? What's up with these smokes? You didn't keep going.
Good night. A present. Have another one. Good night. We're just on another, another level out here, man. We're just on a damn another level out here, all right? No, 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 no. You're, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. You're not good enough for it. You're not gonna do it. How long are you going to hide back behind your little hill on the edge of the zone, huh? How long? Oh, I see you, buddy. I see you. Get him out of my face! They don't know. They don't know! They don't know. They don't know who they're dealing with, okay? They don't know. They just don't know. Four left, one's at that rock. Oh, shit. I thought I had another smoke. Three left. One's a suppressed girls again on our left. We just heard him and we saw the kill feed. Other dude's sniper back behind us somewhere. Dude, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna get fucking pinched. He's gonna have to come out of this compound. We gotta kill this guy on the left. Might have already made it in. Yeah. 
Thirty ones. You fucking scared, bro? You better be. Aggression. Full fucking aggression, baby. Let's go. Come on. 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 Thirty seconds. Where's this man? Where's his damn box? There you are. There you are. Give me that. Give me these. Dump it. Dump it. Dump it. Boom. Ghillie suit. Yep. Need all this. Oh, get up and run, you fuck. Get up and run. There it is. There it is. Well, this is interesting. Got a blue zone grenade, got a frag grenade. Uh, I think I need to push this right now, dude. There he is in the house. Yikes. Medkit, full HP, push. Oh, you popped a fucking smoke. Thank you. I appreciate it. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, I should not have done that. I needed to do that better at least. GG. It could have worked, but I like pulled pin way too early. I was going to try to airburst that sucker in his building. GG. Next. A reigning destan. Is there a smaller map in rotation right now? The map's changed. What's up, Pratty? Hope you're doing well, man. Little dive down to construction. Little dive down to construction, baby.
need a gun. There is no gun. Good night. Good night. M4, M4, M24. Proud, do you think we're going to get a bunch of games then? Come around that time? Is that what you're thinking? Good night. How long you been ratting, bro? How long you been ratting here, man? How long? I'm in the corner like a damn rat. Lots of rats. Next one. Do I miss voice comms? They're still in this, dude. Right? Or did they take it out? Yeah, they're still in the game, dude. Aaron Gell, Destan, Tygo. What was it, the map we played? Played someone else that was not Aaron Gell. With those other maps. And maybe I'm crazy. Oh, Rondo. Those are the maps that are in rotation right now.
How did I jump? Because I definitely didn't press F. It's like I pressed tab or something and it did it. Purple. Purple mag is death. What's up, man? We're doing well. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, baby. Chat, you guys working on anything right now? Any any anything area in your life you're looking to grow in right now? Maybe it's maybe you're trying to do something for your job. Maybe it's you're learning something, learning a skill. Maybe you're improving your fitness, your health. Anything like that right now? For you guys. I'm covering right now, Jake. It's got some send cells from the CPI in my back. So recovering from uh, that, then going to do rehab, eh, brother? Wish you a speedy recovery, baby. Going back to school finally, get a bachelor's degree at 34. Hey, let's go, man. What you want? What do you, what the field? Are you thinking about getting your degree in? You're trying to start a supplement business. Oh, yeah? What line of supplements? Pratty, uh, if you're talking about Player Unknown's tweet about that, he's building an engine, a game engine that can then be used to create new games. That's what he's talking to about that. Player Unknown no longer works with PUBG. They got him out of there a long time ago. They didn't like the vision that he had for the game, so they got him up out of there. Information security. Does that work? Is that like... Uh... Web security, your network security, etc.? Multivitamins, that's what you're looking at. Like the ultimate one. Should not have peeked that. Should not have peeked it, baby.
Hungry? Hey, man, I'm sure you got this, bro. I'm sure you got this. Lighter here if we find some gas. That's true, though, dude. Do I support intermittent fasting if it helps someone to reach their fitness goal and they enjoy it? Sure. Is there something magical or special about intermittent fasting? No just a way of eating and if it ends up helping you control calories and hit your fitness goals then great but it's not something where you're gaining some benefit from a pure like health fitness standpoint compared to just controlling your calories in another way so if it's something you're like i want to try this i like it it helps me make sure that i don't overeat Right? Then great. More power to you. That it's good. If you intermittent fast, you still overconsume calories, you won't lose weight. Brandon, what's up, man? Scandalinia, what's up, baby? What up, honey man? Chilling, bro. You doing great, sir. someone here should be someone here I heard some shots Zeno what's up brubby what's up brother I saw I tried to mix like bro and brother and it just ended up coming out weird <laughs> what's up brother I'm doing very well very well feeling great honestly feeling the best maybe I've ever ever have I'm in sat. Nah. Jake, been great, dude. Been tremendous.
<laughs> do I want to be with you? Are you trying to ask me out or something? Is that what you're doing? Then definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah, no thanks. Not into that. Not into that. I was dead, bottom floor. Well, that door was actually, unless it wasn't rendered, he's got to be bottom floor looting that body right now. You heard they're supposed to do something with the scar and ACAM. What'd you hear? Are they getting buffed? Pratty, or they're telling you the truth. This guy, like, die? What the fuck happened to this dude? Something happened. Seems like he did die right here. He ran himself over. I want you to shoot at this crate, bro.
What's up, Sleazy? What's up, Robin? Para? Yeah, we lit him up, huh? Lit him up, baby. For the scar from the M4. Recoils is so manageable with this gun. It may be one of the it may be the lowest DPS, but I'll tell you what, recoil wise, you just beam people. Very good at medium distance. Close distance, not the best. Medium distance, pretty good. Sub Goose, yo, appreciate the seven months and the prime. see him he's dead he's dead vehicle stop just over the hill behind us Do we go A W M? Do we do it? Shit, bro, this guy got an A W M and a P ninety. Whoa. Uh. Yeah, yikes. We just got hit. Tan, I've been streaming on Twitch for probably like over, damn dude, it's like maybe been a half a year now. I stream on Twitch and YouTube. What's up, Goose? Appreciate the Prime, Tan. Appreciate the Prime, man. When we originally left, they made it, we're doing restrictions where you can only be 
on Twitch. You could not stream on any other platform. They changed that after a bunch of people started leaving to make it so that you could stream on multiple. So I stream on multiple. I stream on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Two left. play ripped him dude absolutely ripped him with that absolutely ripped him gg baby gg baby another one another one it's too easy out here it's too easy out here man too easy out here Nah, I don't really like some of the shit John Cena's been doing with his life recently, so I'm good. Maybe we find a new song for the pan, but it's not going to be John Cena. Yo, everybody, hey, yo, appreciate you guys all being here, chilling with us today, man. Hope you all having a good Friday. Man, oh man, baby. Let's see. Chat, you guys always ask me this question. Is there any games you're looking forward to that are coming out? As a very small streamer who is currently trying to make it with Apex in Hunting Grounds. Is Hunting Grounds a different game or did you mean Battlegrounds? Any suggestion to grow? And would you do off, offer me a small shout out? No, that's okay. I just know I respect what you're doing on stream. We're loving it. Hey. Would I give you any advice? There's a bunch of different things I've made actually on YouTube when it comes to like uh, this video and whatnot. 
It's actually a game called uh, Hunting Grounds. Uh, I've never heard of that. Would I give you any advice? Well, first of all, it comes down to the content you're already making, dude. Why should someone come and watch your channel? You got to be able to answer that question. You got to be able to answer that. You to look at all the different people out here streaming. Why should someone come and watch your channel? What makes you different? What? Why would out of 10 people that are streaming, should someone choose to pick you and your channel to watch over anybody else's? You got to think about that sort of question. And if you can come up with a really good answer and create good enough content around that, then all it comes down to is finding enough people to check out your content. And eventually, if you do that, you're going to continue building an audience over time. There's a lot more of it that goes into it than that. But that's like the number one question you got to think about and answer for yourself when to be in, to be in with. And if the answer comes back is my content's not that good or it's not unique in some way compared to other people, then you got to fix that to begin with. It's uh, where you got to start. What is face? Uh, about maybe a little over a year ago, went on TRT. Before that. Was all natty, but no. Now would be considered on TRT, which would not be considered natural. Appreciate it, man. Looking forward to GTA 6, Kenshi 2, Stellar Blade. I haven't heard about Kenshi 2 or Stellar Blade. Road of the Stock looks promising. I'm going to have to look those up. Going to have to look those up. But like Predator Hunting Grounds is unique. Is that the game you're playing? If the if the, if it's the game you're playing is unique, I mean that is an answer, but it's not that great of one. There's got to be something that separates you and your community compared to anybody else's, man. Or something that's gonna really make you stand out. Like. When I was first growing my channel, I knew that I was learning Battle Royale. And so part of it was I'm going to teach everybody as I'm learning. And a lot of people weren't doing that around the time. Um, and I knew that I could, you know, something that I just enjoy in general is really talking with my community and making sure that I like communicate with, with everybody to the best of my ability. One, because I enjoy it, but two, because I can, I can do that. And at the same time, play the game and fucking play an entire round out. And then there's got to be like certain things where, you know, a lot of people come go to channels and they just let their chat say whatever or do whatever they want. And we've always kept a different thing around here. It's been about respect and treating each other well and being nice to each other and not just spamming and being idiots, you know. And so I made sure to over the years to get rid of those type of people and create a community that was different. Um, and then on top of that, you know, I think that there's maybe is like a lack of genuineness and authenticity out there. And I knew if that I would, if I was more genuine and authentic, I felt like that would help too. And these are all things that you got to really think about and be like, what's going to make me different. The truth is what's going to make you different is whatever you're really good at. You probably got some natural gifts and natural things that you can really tap into. And that should be able to help you separate from somebody. But when it comes down to it, dude, if you want to build a successful stream, even a stream that only gets like a hundred people watching it is a top 1% stream when it comes to Twitch. A hundred concurrent viewers is a top 1% stream. And I'll tell you what, just, just getting to that point, it's not really going to be, uh, if you're hoping to do this for a living over the long term, like that's not really going to work out too well for you.
Hollowed, what's up, man? Road of Stock is on Steam single player game, but looks like Tarkov. Oh, really? Also, some I can say that helped me, as well as I'm not really the same as a lot of people that are gamers. I'm into fitness, I'm into health, I'm into these sort of things, right? Sports and whatnot. So that was another thing, right? Where I've made that part of my content. Part of, one, because it's a separator, but because that's who I am as a person. And I know that your health and wellness and doing those sorts of things are great things for people. So that's something I wanted to share and do with my content as well. You combine all those things together, you get more of a unique thing. So that when the, the right type of person comes into your channel, they find this and they're like, yo, I'm into fitness and whatnot. And I haven't really found that in many other channels that are into this. I'm going to stick around here. Or I'm into this. I'm into that. Like, this person actually talks to me. You know? You got to be able to think about that question and answer it. Only then after that should you worry about shout outs or worry about people trying to come and find your channel. If you can't come up with a good answer to that, then it's not going to matter how many people end up clicking on your channel because they're not going to stick around. Shane, and that goes for everything that you're going to, if you're trying to make any, if you're trying to do anything, a stream, a social media page, uh, business, you got to be able to answer that question. You better come up with a really good answer. And what I tell you about that answer is like, you know what? It's possible you might get a little bit of people that come and check you out for that, but that's not a good answer. It's not going to help you build a channel over a period of time. Said, I'm trying to revive um, a healing game that dropped its first update in years. Well, one, it sounds like that game's not doing too hot. So if you're the thing that's going to make you different is you're playing a game that's not doing too well. That's not a good answer. You're, the thing that you gave as your answer is about the game. It's not even about you and your channel and your community. I hope, like, do you understand? If your answer is the game, then you're fucked. Because once that game's gone, or if it doesn't do well, um, then your channel's over. It's not, a, it's not a good answer. I tell you, just uh, just have fun with it, and don't try to make it into something unless you can come up with a better answer.
Dub cubed. What up, baby? Leo, you hopped over on YouTube, said hello. What's up, brother? Just have fun with it, man. And enjoy it when you're you're playing. You're launching a podcast kind of work project. Maybe it's me, but feel uh, but feel embarrassed self promoting. Any suggestions? Uh, I think Gary V had like some really good advice for a long time about launching a podcast for the first time. It's the same exact thing, man. Create really good content. Put it out there on social media. Use things like TikTok, Instagram, all those sorts of things. Figure out where you can get exposure. If you create really good content over time, there'll slowly start to build an audience. I wouldn't say promoting it in other people's stuff or content is a good plan. I would study podcasts within the last two years, last one year that have had exceptional growth and I'd see what they did and see if there's something where you could replicate that with your own podcast. Same thing goes when it comes to anything, streams, etc. Look at someone who's done it recently within the last like year or two. What do they do? What's, uh, what's it going to be about your podcast? You better pick up some ground beef quesadillas. That sounds pretty damn good right now, bro. That sounds pretty good right now.
Matreni doctors studying hematology were building a two-way non-didactic conversation to bridge the knowledge gap from a junior doctor to a middle grade. That's going to be like very specific, right? That's like very, very specific. Like that's only going to be like people in medical, specifically most likely doctors. Like you're trying to reach junior doctors. What's up, Bionic? What's up, Matthew? It's super niche. So it's like, I don't even know. Unless like, I don't know. I guess it's like, depends on. That's like such a small audience already. When it comes to that. It may be something where. Maybe it's not even like a podcast you want to do. Maybe it's something with social media. You can still do a podcast and then cut the clips and use them for social media and whatnot. As long as you, know, you do like either record you get like some really good recordings do some editing and whatnot like i don't know i don't know what your overall if you're just doing it for fun or if you're trying to do something actually with it i guess that would be the next thing it's like what's your overall game plan Like what well, I get, yeah. That what's like your overall, what's like your overall game plan or like mission with it? Scared. You know why? You know why? Because he's hurting. I seen it. Surprised those didn't hit him. Like, I actually lined it up right where he was. The battle! Good night. Good night. Let's provide learning resources to peers. Learning resources you can use on your commute. We'd love for it to develop into a virtual community. We approach the governing body who are interested. Okay, I see. Interesting. Well, that seems almost more it's like you would just do them and record them and then you got them and then you would share them with all the people that you think could benefit from it, right? Like it almost, uh, it doesn't even seem like the, like a podcast is like the right format. Or I guess not like, I don't know. I guess podcasts are far, far different. It's like more of a...
Well, if you create something like that, that you know is valuable, I wouldn't be that worried about sending it to those people, like that you think it can f it help. Like, I wouldn't be too worried about that, to be honest. Like, that sounds exactly like what you actually probably should do. <laughs> Does the blizzard not slow you down? It's only the sandstorm that does that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's doing it. Yeah, it see, it, it seems like to me you would. It's it's going to be very different than like the general podcast out there on what you need to do. It sounds like you already have some decent ideas, and it seems like the pack pitched some. There was some decent ideas on YouTube as well in the YouTube chat. But yeah, it's, that's not like your typical podcast. You, you got a different thing that you're trying to do with that than reach like a mass population of people, right? That's actually something, too, when it comes to starting anything. Actually, the more niche you can start, the better. And then you get like a foothold and then you expand from there.
you just got fucking sniped from the left <laughs> or from the right. Oh man, now I'm getting sniped. Yikes! Now we're just getting pelted by on both of them. GG. I deserve to die. Honestly, I should not have took that fight. Knowing that there was another dude on the left that was shooting at me earlier. Next one. Want my damn SLR, man. Fan, what's up, baby? Been loving carbon so far, Vase for we uh first week using it. Thank you, hey dude. Got you, brother. I know it'll help people out there. If you're trying to get in better shape, recommend you get carbon. It'll get you to where you want to go. Doesn't matter if you're losing weight, gaining weight. Maintaining, doing a reverse diet. It'll help you reach that goal, baby, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, how do I think this game will be when it goes to UE5? I think it's going to be awesome when it goes to UE5. It's just going to be a while, it seems like. Was hoping it was going to be 2024. Now, from what they say, it sounds like it's going to be 2025, man. Also, chat, hey, man, if you end up using carbon and it helps you, share it with other people, man. If there's other people out there, they ask what you're doing. Maybe you know some other people, like they got some fitness goals, are working on some different things, etc. Whatever it is, let them know. Carbon. Have them use our link. They'll get a discount. I'm the only person in the world that has a discount for it, and it'll help support the channel, baby. And on top of that, you're helping them. You're going to help them hit their, one of their goals, man. Help them get in better shape, whatever that is for them. Already got the wife on it, too. Hey, you the man, brother. That's awesome, man. I'm glad it's helping you guys.
Matthias? Yeah, we'll see, dog. We will see, huh? Here we go. Let's do a little Dragonov unless we find an SLR. The first PC games you played was the original Doom. Doom's made some really great games. When it comes to FPS story games that are fun to play through, I think they really did a great job revitalizing the Doom series, man. I don't... I'm trying to think of what the first FPS was I ever played on PC. I remember there was like this weird one. It was kind of like similar to CSGO in some way, but it wasn't. It was like something else. It was like way more niche. That this my one of my friends would play. Actually, it was it was that 1942 game. I remember playing that like a couple times. I think that was what it was. But that was only like a few times ever. First time I probably spent even more than like 10 hours on an FPS game was when I first started streaming. On PC, that is. With Arma. Flick shot? I've had a lot of people say that over the years. Kip, what's up, dude? Hope you're doing good too, brother. Delta Force. 
Blackhawk down multiplayer was your jam. I remember playing one of the Delta Force games, but it was one that was like on PS1. Sure, it was on PC around the same time too. God, I used to play these one games all the time. They were like my favorite games on PS1. It was like Spec Ops. And there was a ton of them. And you could get them for like 10 bucks a piece. And it was literally just like special ops missions. And you could choose like a bunch of different guns and get out your team with different weapons and whatnot. And then you'd have like missions to go and like plant a satchel charge on this building and blow it up and do a couple other objectives and whatnot. You guys ever play those games? You guys ever play the Spec Ops games? There was tons of them. I remember I had like four or five of them. You mean SOCOM? No, they were called Spec Ops, dude. It wasn't SOCOM. You love Sokami. That was a big one for a lot of people. I never really played them. Like, Socom was one of the biggest online multiplayers for PS2, right? I was like, I never played any of those. My friends didn't even really have them either. It's weird. But you know, yeah, I was talking to someone on Twitch about that, brother. When I said not so gum. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game then, if it wasn't a shooter. Was it RTS? I've seen a guy moving over here, I'm pretty sure. There was some game that was on PS2 that was like an RTS that you like commanded a squad. Yes, it was RTS. Oh, okay. What's the one I'm thinking of? What was the one that was really big on PS2 and had multiplayer? Um, it wasn't SOCOM. Maybe it is. There's, maybe it was so common. I'm thinking of a different game. There was some game, and it was like an RTS, and you like commanded a squad. Maybe not RTS is the right word for it, but you like commanded a squad. You didn't actually shoot as them. Like you told them what to do. Very interesting game. I remember that. I think SOCOM was the one that was multiplayer, and I'm thinking about a different different one. Ghost Recon did that? Yeah, I don't think it was Ghost Recon, though. It's something else. Probably, like, not as... Probably, it was probably, like, some more niche game or something. XCOM? No, not XCOM. the thing about the dude this map i find has the biggest snooze fest mid game of all time of any map in this damn game nah it wasn't starcraft it was different different i don't think it was that common of a game that popular of a game
I don't think RTS was the right term for it. It's like you just commanded this squad and you told them what to do and whatnot. Blue collar, what up, baby? Red alert, maybe, maybe. I'll have to look it up maybe after this. Guys in outer space out there. Full spectrum. That's that sounds like maybe what it was, bro. That's that's sounding like it was what it was, dude. Dude, command and conquer was it was fun as hell. That was a good one. He's still shooting. Yo, wait. What the hell? Bro, why? That was fucking weird, bro. He just started, like, shooting at a bunch of random stuff and flies outside, immediately turns around and knows we're here and just fucking starts blasting me. I don't know about that, bro. Seek and Destroy, Desert Storm, Brothers in Arms, Full Spectrum Warriors. Yeah, those. I think it was one of those games, bro. I think the Full Spectrum thing is what someone called it was what it was. 
whatever the game was, it actually wasn't that great of a game, in my opinion. It actually kind of shit, but I remember something, something about it, bro. So, I don't know. Someone brought up something else, and then they brought it up. Refreshed it in my mind. Um, my lean keys are default CUNY. Yo, what is that, Skinkly? What up, baby? Appreciate the prime. Seemed like that first shot should have shot him right in the back of the neck. It was actually, I was kind of disoriented. It's actually, I was thinking center was way to our right, and said it's right in front of us here. Shooting out of his car. Yo, he just got fucking bombed right after. Someone down across the road. Silence Mark 12. Are you fucking crazy? What are you doing? What are you doing? 
That guy is a psychopath, dude. Maybe he just had no idea where he was actually getting shot from. I don't know. That makes no sense what my dude just did. Makes zero sense, dude. You motherfucker. Oh. Someone on his side of the hill that was shooting at him and he shoots me instead. a thing and I just dragging on this guy three times point blank and he's just perfectly fine Cutman brother were you uh did you not know where you're shooting at you from I was actually curious dude made some pretty made a pretty wild play still be a guy like right here gonna try to drive into us come on let's fucking do it bro wide left to see this guy I don't really want to shoot this dude on the left oh he just died to someone else with one Was two. I thought this was the same guy. It was not the same guy. Last guy's below us. We've seen him crossing. He's gonna be right there in this fucking smoke somewhere. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. GG. I mean, you would have liked to see some more action, but you know, a chicken's a chicken, baby. A chicken is a chicken, baby. I did my two-mile run today in 20 minutes, 44 seconds. I was all out closer to getting under 20, though. Uh, tw Closer to getting under 20, though. Yep. Yep. Hey, man. Let's go, dude. You're really close to it. Let's keep on improving. I'm sure as you keep going and you keep losing the weight and your cardio gets better from the running, like you're going to get under that real soon.
When did the stream start? Um, it started three hours ago. And if you're hoping to get a notification from these platforms, don't expect to. They ain't gonna give you one. Chris, yeah, not bad at all, brother. Not bad at all, man. Keep it up, dude. You got notified, make sure you ring the notification bell and set it to all. There you go. Yo, it goes for both YouTube and Twitch. Make sure your notifications are on, man. If you want to get notified, make sure it's on. Set it to on. Set it to always on or whatever the heck you got to do to make sure it's on. Other than that, I always put out a message in the Discord and I always put out a Steam group message. And you guys know I stream every single day. So if it's not in the morning, then I'm going to be streaming a little later that day. I know typically my time is in the mornings, but been doing other things. Got do, got been prioritizing other stuff recently, but that doesn't mean we won't be doing morning streams still here and there. Also, well, I guess that's mainly most of it. Oh, you posted a picture of the logo? Let's see, dude. I mean, that's pretty sick, dude. uh diligent dirty i don't think so but like when you first start playing the game it puts you in easier rounds and i think there's a lot more bots in those too you can go in training mode and shoot a lot that's what i'd actually tell you to do i'd tell you go in training mo mode and practice a ton in the training mode dude Are you talking about this casual mode? There you go. Look at this. I didn't even know this was a thing. Casual mode, 8x8 map. Casual mode matches 12 players with 88 AI. You could do this, casual mode, and then, but if you want first person, just put it in first person and play, it and play that. Could do that. That was the first rug ever. Turned out okay so far, yeah? I'd say you did pretty good for the first one ever, man. Def Clover, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Dub Cube, you're funny, bro. You're funny, dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's actually going to end up being our final one for this Friday. Any final thoughts out there, chat, for this Friday stream? Thank you as always, Vis. Say you the man, brother. You the man, brother. Psycho Bunny. 
Not tonight, not today. Not tonight, not today, baby. Later, Vis. Much love, bro. Hey, Trash, have a good one, Brian. Thank you so much, dude. Blessed to have you part of this community, man. This, what do you use creatine for and what way does it help you? There's tons of different benefits to creatine. The biggest and most notable ones is that it can help with power production um, when it comes to athletic performance, help with muscle retention, help with muscle gain, help with endurance. Um, really, when it comes to anything athletic, it can help with that. Um, but there's also benefits for your brain health. There's all sorts of stuff, bones. There's all tons, tons and stuff. Like there's overall general health benefits from creatine. Um, but on top of that, it helps tremendously with uh, both strength and endurance, muscle gain, muscle retention. One of the most studied supplements of all time. Top Goober, hey, you the man, dude. Hey, appreciate you dropping another sub for someone. Yo, not Seth, full send. You got hooked up with a sub, baby. Also, chat, final thing I'll mention, as we talked about, I'm going to keep talking about it. I'm always going to be doing some shout-outs for this because I think it's an awesome thing that we're able to do now. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to Carbon. Like I said, you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know I've been using Carbon for a long time. I've always recommended it to people. Well, now we're partnered up with them. And as you can see, man, it's helped me get in tr tremendous shape. I've been using it for years and years now. Um, and, whoops, I know that it can help you guys out there when it comes to anything with your fitness or weight goals. If you're trying to lose weight, if you want to, or you're trying to even gain weight, gain some muscle mass, maintain your weight, or do a reverse diet, any of those things, it can help you with it. And not only can it help you with it, it's going to give you a plan that will get you to your goal. How often can you say that? You're like, you know, people all the time, they try a damn diet. They try these things. Oh, I'm going to go on this diet. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do this, 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 this. And it doesn't get them the result they want, right? I can guarantee you that the plan Carbon gives you and you continue to use it. You do the weekly check-ins with the app. It'll adjust and it'll make sure that you get to whatever your goal is. How many other diets or things are out there where you can say that? Pretty much none. You don't, you can, unless you got a fucking plan, right? You don't know exactly how, what's going to do and where it's going to get. But with someone like Harbin, you know. You can put your full trust in it. It's like, if I do what it tells me, I know what's going to get me to where I want to go. There's no question about it. So if you're out there, doesn't matter. Hey, maybe it's just losing five pounds, 10 pounds. It can help you do that. Maybe it's losing 50 pounds. It can help you do that. Maybe it's 100 pounds. You can do it. It will help you do that too. Maybe it's gaining five pounds, 10 pounds, whatever it is. It can help you do that. So it's an amazing app. I know it'll help you guys. I know it helps people. It's helped tons of me. It's helped me, helped friends, helps family. And it's helped, I know, ton of, tons of uh, PAC members over the years. The cool thing is now we're partnered with them. So you get a discount on top of that. It helps support the channel if you use our link. So shout out to that baby. Also, like I said earlier, hey, you're someone out there. You've used carbon. You see it helps you. Hey, let other people you know that are like, hey, I want to drop some weight. I want to gain something. Let them know and share the link with them because you can help them get a discount and it helps support the channel, baby. And on top of that, you're giving them something you know works because it helped you too. So outside of that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all have a good rest of your Friday night. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. All right. Cheers, Vis. Hey, Tolerance, have a good night, man. Hey, you too, Al. Bose Maniac. Yeah, you better watch out, huh? Better watch out. Mike, have a good night, man.